Before we move on to any more of the creature, I'm going to make the fins that are going on its side. And these are going to be based off of those of a lionfish. So let's start with that. Now the first thing to notice is that the, the fins sort of come out from behind this mus muscle structure here at the front of the head. Kind of the lower jaw line sort of comes out and stops right in front of where the fins are. So we're going to need some definition like that. Kind of like this ridge that we already have here, but a little bit more pronounced. There we go. Might put in a little bit of a soft dent right up here, just to add a little bit more definition to it. All right. So now, speaking of those fins, let's go ahead and make them. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're just going to make one fin, and then we're going to duplicate it many times in order to get these, uh, in order to get this large fan shape. So. To make this shape, I'm going to start out with a curve again, but I'm going to do so on its own layer. Oops, not that one. Call this fin. Going to increase the resolution of that a bit because this is going to be a pretty narrow, pretty small detail. Uh, let's see if we can get away with just that for now. Now I'm only going to do one side of this for right now, and then I will mirror it over later. So once again, going with curves, it's going to be pretty small because you see it's kind of a very narrow tube-like structure, and then this flat plane comes a bit afterwards. And then if I wanted to uh, rotate these this uh, counterclockwise a little bit. I can actually do so if I click on rotate right here and you see this little green cone that'll show up. Using that I can rotate the curve. Now it's going to rotate around whichever point the narrow part of the cone is going to. So the point of the cone is the point around which the whole thing will rotate. So as you see right now that is not what I want. I need it to be the other way so I need to flip the cone and then I can sweep it back a little bit. Hit enter and now I've got my shape. In fact, you know what, I am gonna increase this to a four times resolution. So I can actually then go in and uh, do transform curve. Well, and if I select the, uh, the very first point here and then scale, I can scale the whole thing up. And that's with transform curve selected, so I'll make the whole thing a little bit bigger. And then I'll increase the resolution of this. And then I'll add in the tube. And now I can add in the rest of the fin shape. I'll do that with my freeform primitives again. Only this time, I'm not going to use a cube 2x2, two two, I'm going to use a cube 2x3. And then I will move it into position here. So I'm actually, I'm going to make the tube a little bit thicker. And a really quick way to do this is with the, uh, the add scale feature on the curves tool. So with that, I can just make the whole thing a little bit thicker if I need it to be. So I'll hit enter again, and now I'll go back to my primitives tool and get that into position. Okay, now the reason why I'm using the 2x3 lattice is that I can select these points and move them until they are just in line with the tube. So again, you see it has sort of this straight part and then there's a bit of an there's a bit of an angle where it uh, then points back towards the fin base. There you go. Now I might smooth this out a little bit as well. 
It's a little tricky. If you hold down shift and uh, and click on the background, then it'll actually snap you to the nearest 90 degree angle, 90 degree viewing angle. So that can be a little annoying. Just smooth out all of this. Then I might need to add a little bit of a fold in there of some sort. There we go. So now it's time to make some copies of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to transform and I need to move the pivot point to the base here. So I can do that with move only gizmo. And I will move this into the appropriate spot and have it be at the right angle. Have that kind of face sort of in line with the uh, slot we made for it. Excellent, it's a start. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab the fins and I'll use the pose tool in order to get these to line up properly. That'll make it much easier to retopologize. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all the copies children of the main fin and I'll be able to mirror all of them over to the other side. So I'll just right click on one of the copies, go to change parent to fin. And then I can take fin and I can go down to my instancer and create new mirror X. And there you go.